a suspended solids. Question number 8. A triangular pyramid of base side 40 mm and axis 56 mm long is previously suspended from one of the corners of its base. Draw the projections if the axis is parallel to AP. So in this case, it's a pyramid. Even prisms can be suspended. So this pyramid is suspended from one of the corners. So in that case, if you are going to suspend from the corner C, that and axis. Imagine a plane connecting that corner and axis has to be parallel to X, Y, Z or parallel to VP. Now automatically this edge has to be perpendicular to X, Y, Z. Draw the top view first and project from it and draw the front view. So you know how to draw the front view. Project from this one. So this length is 56 mm. Base edge is 40 mm. So you have drawn this front view. Now look, locate the center of gravity. For pyramid it is h by 4 from the base. So total height is 56 mm. So 56 by 4 it is 14. 14 from the base. So this is the center of gravity where the all load is assumed to be concentrated. In the case of prisms, it will be at h by 2. Then in the next step, there is no change in the shape and size of the figure. Only thing is that point of suspension will be at the top. So we are going to suspend from the corner C. So C1 dash will be in the next stage, it is C1 dash. C1 dash will be at the top. And for any object suspended, Center of gravity and point of suspension between a given straight line that will be hanging directly due to acceleration due to gravity. So C1 G1 dash G1 dash will be you take it first. You have to draw this one. And with respect to this line, you can redraw this figure. So when you redraw this figure, it will be like this. And project from that one, you will get this figure. So any these three edges can be checked for visibility and in the case of C O if you look from the top that will be thick similarly the other two edges will be thick so this is the solution of the problem